The objective is to use fraction and decimal multiplication to express equivalent measurements. 14 days, just like we have done before, equals 14 times 1 day. What fraction of a week is 1 day? Did you say 1 seventh? We can rewrite this then, equaling 14 times 1 seventh of a week. 1 seventh of a week does equal 1 day. As we work that out, that's equal to 14 sevenths of a week, which equals 2 weeks. 14 over 7, 14 sevenths is equal to 2 weeks. You can think of the 14 divided by 7. Here's another one to work through. 24 feet equals blank yards. I know that 3 feet equals a yard. So I also know that 1 foot is equal to 1 third of a yard. And I'll use that as I'm working through my problem. 24 feet equals 24 times 1 foot. I can replace one foot by one third of a yard. So that's equal to 24 thirds yards, which is equal to, think, 24 divided by 3, which is 8 yards. And there's our equivalent there, that 24 feet is equal to 8 yards. And we've shown our work. We're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. That's why we have less. Four quarts equals one gallon. It's your turn. So that means that one quart is equal to one fourth of a gallon. Knowing this, here's your problem. 24 quarts equaling how many gallons? Show your work. Go ahead and pause the video while you do your work. Twenty four quarts times one quart, which equals twenty four times one fourth of a gallon, which equals six gallons. Check over your work. One step in between would have been 24 over 4 gallons. A container holds 16 cups of juice. Convert the capacity to pints. I'll write it out as 16 cups equaling blank pints. I know that there are 2 cups in a pint. Write out our first line here, 16 cups equals 16 times 1 cup. So that um, 1 cup is equal to half a pint. So we go 16 times 1 half of a pint. We know that 1 cup does equal 1 half of a pint. When I do that multiplication, that's equal to 16 halves pints. And 16 halves should be thinking of 16 divided by 2, which is 8. So I have 8 pints. There's 8 pints of juice. Let's use the same process to convert smaller metric units to larger metric units. So we're going to go from smaller 
centimeters to larger meters. Let's convert 195 centimeters to meters. Just as we've been doing, let's rename 195 centimeters as a multiplication expression with one factor naming the unit. 195 times 1 centimeter. Let's rename the conversion factor as meters. 1 centimeter is equal to what fraction of a meter? Write 1 hundredth of a meter. So we have equaling 195 times 0 0.01 meters. What's 195 times 0 0.01? Did you answer 1.95? That's 1.95 meters. Five hundred seventy eight milliliters equaling blank liters. Let's work that out. We have five hundred seventy eight milliliters equaling five hundred seventy eight times one milliliter. Our conversion is there are one thousand milliliters in a liter. So we write here one thousand of a liter. Work that out, that's 0 0.578 liters. And I'll write that out. So 578 milliliters equals 578 thousandths of a liter. A truck weighs 1,657,280 grams. Convert to kilograms. I know that 1,000 grams equals 1 kilogram. This also means that 1 1,000th of a kilogram equals 1 gram. And then I can show my work. Converting from a smaller unit to a larger unit. That's equal to 1,657,280 times 1 gram, which equals the same there, times, this also is equal to a thousandth. So we can go ahead and go like that and get decimal involved within this of a kilogram. When we do our work, we can shift our decimal places so that we get 1,657.28 kilograms. So the truck being converted to kilograms, from grams to kilograms, we get a smaller unit. We get a thousandth times smaller unit.